India's huge potential in fruits and vegetable farming is now an open secret. Large tracts of the nation is blessed with monsoons and favorable conditions for a bumper harvest in these areas and improve the income of large number of farmers who are increasingly taking up fruits and vegetable farming. They would benefit only if there are enough and adequate measures to safeguard the crop immediately after harvest. Farmers often do not get good prices for their products because they have no facilities for storage ready at hand. This forces them to sell off their products as soon as they are harvested. Even then, there's a huge post-harvest loss. Fruits and vegetables are perishable commodities. They require immediate post-harvest management to reduce field heat, check microbial growth and to maintain the inherent nutrition. Without storage facilities ready at hand, too much of a particular commodity enters the market at the same time. This glut in the market does not just have an adverse impact on the profits for the farmers, but also leads to rampant wastage. The Central Institute of Post-Harvest Engineering and Technology, or CIFED, understands the need for in-situ post-harvest storage. The EC room, or the evaporative cool room, is a one-stop solution offered by CIFED. The technology is now ready for farmers after successful field trials. This is one innovative success story of CIFED that could change the face of post-harvest horticulture management in India. Sukpal Singh Chima, a farmer in village Jalalabad of Moga district, got an EC room constructed on his farm for field trials some time back. Thanks to the EC room, now fruits and vegetable farmers can not just increase the shelf life of their products, but also demand a good price for them. All of it comes at a bare minimum one-time investment of 75,000 rupees. Today, he's quite happy with his decision. Yes, we have to do 25 years of work. We also have to plant tomatoes, tomatoes, and other vegetables. We have to plant a lot of plants in the mandi. We have to plant a lot of plants. We have to plant a lot of plants. We have to plant a lot of plants. लुधियाना ने दसिया कि ईसी रूम बनाओ जिदे तो भी पच्ची दिन तुम आपकी सब्जी ये रख सकते हैं रख के उदू बाद जो कीमत वन लगदियाँ तो उदों जाके मंडी बेच सकते हैं ईसी रूम असी फिर बनाया जी कोई साढ़ा इतने को पाँह तो सठ हज़ार रुपया इतने खर्चा आया तो असी हूँ ये रख के सब्जी रख के असी भी पच्ची दिन उदू बाद लैके जाने सूँ वो कीमत जी चंकी मिल जाती है सानू ये काफ़ी लाभ होया है He explained to us how to best use the EC room technology. Fruits and vegetables should be sorted to remove bruised, punctured and damaged ones before storing in perforated plastic stackable crates in the EC room. During the storage period, the fruits and vegetables should be observed periodically to check their condition. The windows should be opened for half an hour daily in the evening during the months of April, May and June. The door of the EC room should not be opened frequently. The crates should be thoroughly cleaned before storing the next fruit or vegetable. The water supply from the overhead tank should be opened for one hour daily from October to March and for one and a half hours daily from April to June. The EC room has provided a simple but effective solution for fruit and vegetable growing farmers. In a normal room, Mature green tomatoes could be stored only for 9 days, whereas inside the EC room, they stay fresh for 19 days, even in the month of May. Similarly for red tomatoes in the month of June, early season kinos, mid season kinos, late season kinos, cauliflower, spinach, even for potatoes, the shelf life almost doubles inside an EC room. Chima's worries of immediate storage after the harvest and now a problem of the past. The EC room is a double-walled structure with space between the walls. The space is filled with fine sand. A drip system is connected at the top of the walls to keep the sand wet. Coupled with natural ventilation, the method maintains low temperature and high humidity inside the room. The design and construction features of a typical EC room would be Internal dimensions of masonry room 
at 3 meters by 3 meters by 3 meters. Double wall structure. Each wall 11.3 centimeters thick. Bricks should be fully cured before usage. 11.3 centimeters of sand filling between the double walls. Use of fine river sand free from clay and organic matter. Drip system on top of sand filling. RBC roof and CC floor. Adequate ventilation, windows and exhaust openings. A senior scientist from CIFET explained to us the essentials of the technology. There is an overhead tank on top of the EC room from where there is a drip irrigation pipeline all over the sand packing and uh, the water drips into the sand uh, makes, which makes the outer and the inner walls wet. When the outer walls are wet and there is evaporation of water from the outer walls, it causes a lower temperature in the EC room and the inner walls when they are wet, they cause a lot of uh, higher humidity inside the EC room. Higher humidity and a low temperature causes a better condition for the fruits and vegetables that we can store in the EC room. As a result, there is enhancement of shelf life of the fruits and vegetables which are kept here. About two tons of produce could be stored inside this EC room. It is immensely beneficial for India's rural interiors because evaporative cooled structures require no electricity, demand less initial investment and ask for a very low cost of maintenance. A large number of local farmers have started coming to CIFET to understand the benefits of the technology. They want their own EC room. CIFET has showcased how a simple but well-targeted technological intervention can turn into a win-win situation for everyone. The farmer who now gets the right price for his produce. The food processing units who now get a steady supply of fresh fruits and vegetables. Once in vogue, distressed sales could become a matter of the past for the farmers.